Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 49 of Learn Lightroom 5. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to create a brush preset. Now, in one of my recent videos, someone left a comment. His name was John, and he suggested that I do this video. Thank you for the idea, John. It's a great idea. Now, why would you want to create a brush preset? Well, if you find you're doing the same thing with the brush over and over again, you're using a brush to enhance your sky and you're using the settings the same way all the time, or you're using a brush to enhance skin or soften skin, and you're using the same settings, you know, every time you use that brush, create a preset. It will save you a lot of time. You don't have to dial in those settings manually every time you use the brush. Now, in this image here, I want to create two different brush presets. I want to have a cool sky towards the right, and then I want a warmer sky where the sun is. So, as you probably know, this, the brush is the last tool over here on the tool panel. And what we want to do first is reset all these sliders. So we're going to double click right where it says Effect, and that will reset the sliders. We're going to do the cool brush first. So, to get a cool brush, what I do is I go to the temp slider and I move it to the left, negative, and somewhere between minus 7 and minus 10 works out well. The tint, I'm going to move that to the right, positive, between positive 7 and positive 10. In this case, I dialed in negative 7 and 7. That's fine. Now, I like my skies very detailed. A lot of people like their skies softer. I'm going to adjust contrast up to get my detailed sky. If you like a softer sky, don't touch contrast at all. I want clarity up also. If you want a softer sky, move clarity to the left, negative. We're going to bring saturation up a bit. Then I'm going to jump down here and I want a feather 100, flow 100, density 100, and auto mass checked. Now I could come back and readjust these or add some other adjustments after I paint on the um, this, this uh, going to call it a, a cool sky. Now, I want to get a really big brush. You could get the right bracket key makes it bigger, left bracket key makes it smaller. You could use the center wheel on your mouse to make it larger or smaller. And we're going to just paint on a cool sky over here. Pretty much like that. Now, it's okay, but I want to adjust it a little more. I want, it's kind of dark, so I want the highlights up higher and I want shadows opened up also. I think clarity and saturation are okay. Contrast is okay. Um, we're at, as I mentioned, I like a detailed sky, so I'm going to turn sharpness up quite a bit. And I'm not going to adjust anything else. I think I'm happy with that as my cool sky. Now I want to create the preset. To create the preset, go over here and you see where it says custom? That's a little drop down menu. Go down to the second last choice. It says save current settings as a new preset. Click on that and we're going to call this cool sky. And we're going to go create. Now, whenever I want to paint in a cooler sky, I could just use this preset and I don't have to manually dial in any of the settings. It'll automatically uh, reset itself to my cool sky preset. Now before we get ahead of ourselves though I want to finish this image and I want to do the warm sky side over here. So I want a new a new brush so we're going to double click on new. We're going to double click on effect to reset these sliders. Now this time I want the warm brush so I'm going to do the opposite to my temp and tint. Whereas I moved the temp to the left last time, I'm going to move it to the right. And again, I want it between 7 and 10. In this case, I, I'm on 7. Tint, I want negative this time. So I'm going to bring it to the left between 7 and 10. Minus 8 is fine. Now again, I want the detailed sky, so I'm going to bring contrast up. I'm going to bring clarity up. I'm going to add some saturation. I'm going to start there and then uh, readjust after I paint it on. Again, I'm going to keep a feather flow and density all the way up to 100 and auto mask checked on. And then we're just going to paint in this warmer sky over here. And we're going to get a smaller brush. Oops, not that small. And we're going to paint in some warmth down here. 
kind of like that. All right, for a quick job, that's fine. Now, again, I think I'm going to bring highlights up, make it a little brighter. Not as bright, though, as that. I'm going to open up shadows a touch. And I think everything else is set okay. Oh, we'll bring sharpening or sharpness up a little bit. All right, that's fine. Now we're going to create this warm brush. So we're going to go back to where it says custom. We're going to open up that drop down, go down to the second last setting, save current settings as a new preset. And we're going to click on that. And we're going to click in warm, oops, sky and enter. Now we have a warm sky preset. Now if we open it up, you see we have the cool sky preset and the warm sky preset. Now let's go to a different image. I have this one here. This is just um, this windsurfer out on Lake Erie. And I'd like to do a cool sky on this. So we're going to go to our, our presets and we're going to pick cool sky. And we're going to get a very large brush to save time. And we're just going to paint over the sky like that. just like that and that's how fast it could be instead of me manually adjusting all these I just went to my cool sky preset and dialed it in there's before and there's after it's a really very very easy so I hope that helps a lot of you folks out especially uh, portrait people doing portraits and you soften skin or you're doing certain things to a portrait all the time uh, enhancing grass in a lifestyle shot, something like that, and you're always using a brush, you could just create a preset. It will save a lot of time. Now, we go to the drop down here, and you can see now it has delete preset cool sky. So if you ever want to delete the preset you created, that's what you would do after, you know, it's created. It'll have this other choice down here, delete preset cool sky or warm sky, whatever you happen to be. Uh, it happened to have created. So I hope, again, that helps. I'd like to thank everyone. Thank you very much for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. And thank you everyone that has subscribed to my YouTube channel. As of me making this video, I have just under 100,000 followers on YouTube. And that's really unbelievable in 18 months that happened. So Thank you very, very much, everyone that has subscribed to my YouTube channel. I really, really do appreciate it. All right, I'll talk to everyone soon. Take care.